hello if you are battling with frizzy curly hair then i may have just the styling technique that you are looking for hello this is april with the curl story a channel all about a new chapter of curly hair styling and today is all about defined curls how to get defined curls that last for days and especially if you're new to your curly hair journey. This is the styling technique that I used on every single wash day during my transitioning phase. Because of course my hair was dehydrated, it, there were some parts that were still straight, some part that had waves, curly, so I was trying to make it all a little more uniform so I could be a little bit more presentable to go out into the world even while my hair was trying to figure itself out. So this is finger coiling, which I'm sure you've heard before, and I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can do it at home. Then you will have these curl clumps that stay in place and last for days, however long it is until your next wash day. Now don't extend your wash day if you don't need to, but that's a whole another story. <laughs> so let's go back to my wash day to show you what I did. And I'm showing you upright styling means I'm standing upright while I'm sectioning and applying stylers to my hair. But do note that you can do this same technique with upside down styling. It's just much easier to show it on camera when I'm standing upright. So some people prefer to flip their hair over so that's what we call upside down styling and do that over the bathtub. So as you're applying water to your hair and styler, all that can drip into the bathtub. It makes for easy cleanup. Um, and because when you're upright styling, of course, your shirt does get wet. So you'll need to wear some type of silk robe or a smooth cotton robe. Sometimes I use my muslin wrap or blanket to put over my shoulders and that can help absorb the water without adding any friction to the ends of my hair and without causing any frizz. And then I do have a bath mat on the floor to soak up any of those drips as well. So whatever you prefer, either way will work. And I'll show you the basic techniques. And here I'm just applying a gel over this lower section and just raking it through until I feel that all of my hair is coated with the gel. And then I'll begin the finger coiling process. And these are really small sections and you don't have to do the small of a section. When I started transitioning my hair and learning how to take care of my curls, I took really huge sections. So for this bottom half of my hair, I probably did four, <laughs> four curl clumps just two on one side two on the other but then with more practice I realized that these smaller sections looked more like my natural curl pattern so you'll learn that on your own as well um, how large of a section you need to take and it'll, it'll just take some practice until you see the results that you like taking larger sections was much faster and it also allowed me to just separate those curl clumps once they were dry and especially if I knew if I was going to do an updo then it was fine to just do some larger sections for a quicker process but I've, if I know I'm going to be wearing my hair down then nowadays I do take the time and do these smaller sections. So once that lower section is done I'm just going to repeat the same thing with the top. So the only difference is now that it's been a few minutes, the top of my hair is already starting to dry. So I can either just soak this in the sink so that my hair has some slow dripping water coming out of the ends, or I can spray it generously with uh, this water sprayer. And then I'm just raking through the water until I can feel that my hair has soaked it in. Then I will apply some gel and I, I rub the gel in the palms of my hands. That way I don't get any clumps of gel anywhere in my hair. So if you've experienced that, you know, <laughs> and clumps of gel also create flaking. So it's the best technique that I've learned is to pump a little bit of gel. I don't even use a full pump. Sometimes it's just a quarter pump or a half a pump. Then I emulsify that gel into my wet hands. So basically just rubbing my palms together and then applying that through my hair, either with a praying hands method or raking it through. And what I do love about using my hands as opposed to a brush is I could feel when all of the hair 
feel slippery smooth that it's coated with the gel from roots to ends. Then I know I'm ready to style it and then I know when it dries I'm not going to have any surprises of some frizzy pockets of hair and usually get those when those sections of hair didn't get enough product or didn't get enough water. And you've probably noticed that I haven't done any scrunching yet. So I'm going to reserve that until the very end. And that is because for this styling technique, we're going for defined curls and scrunching can cause frizz. I actually had a lot of trouble learning how to scrunch my hair during the early part of my curly hair process because my hair was already frizzy just touching it a little bit would set off the frizz so with this technique i learned to just form those little twists right now in place and then just leaving them alone <laughs> and i do have a special secret trick to do before you begin scrunching to help with this definition. But before we get to that, let's do this top section. Now, if you've seen my upright styling videos before, you know that this can easily be done in a more upright position. But today I want to show you of what upside down styling could look like and how I would do the top portion of my hair this way. So you can see I have sectioned out the top section of my hair only and then I'm going to take horizontal sections. So first I'm raking through the water, making sure my hair is soaked because that's how we're going to get more flexibility for styling. Now with finger coiling you can do your entire hair with it or you can just do the certain sections of hair that need a little bit more guidance. So if you have wave your hair around your face, maybe you only want to finger coil those to really pump up the volume on those curls or if you have more coarse hair in certain spots I know for me on the back of my head I have more coarse hair and so it doesn't look as uniform as the rest of my hair so finger coiling does help to guide those curls into place a little bit better so it's really up to your curl pattern you may have more than three different type of curl patterns as many of us do so feel free to play with it modify this technique to what works best for you and the style that you want to achieve of course and let me know if you've already tried this technique or because all of us have different experiences with it and different results so it's really fun to learn how each of us have made modifications to make this work for us and here's where the secret curly trick is once you've applied your product all the finger coiling is done spray it all over with some more water and add that hydration okay listen that's what you should hear when you're scrunching that amount of moisture is really important that's how you know you have enough water in your hair enough product in your hair and it's gonna be hydrated and moisturized for days the scrunching helps to activate the curl pattern. Once this all is good, then you're ready to begin the drying process. And what I like to do is the combination of diffusing and air drying because air drying for me takes over three hours. So that's not something that I really have the time for. So what I do is a combination. I'm going to start with diffusing and I only diffuse maybe five to 10 minutes. That's all I really have the patience for. And this is pixie diffusing. This is one great method to use because it's very slow. It keeps the curls still to prevent frizz another way is this hover diffusing and i have these root clips in which are fun and these are just basic salon clips they aren't anything special you can find them at any drugstore um, ulta any place like that and this just helps to pin my roots so they're sticking straight up while I'm drying because I don't want them to dry flat to my head because that water weight you know will bring them down and I really want some volume so I always love to do that when I'm hover and diffusing and you can see the cast I have here the gel cast and I just slept like that and then in the morning is when I'm going to fluff it out and I just can't wait to get my fingers in it <laughs> so I'm just going to 
place my fingertips at my scalp and I'm only going to fluff up the first inch of the length of my hair. So very little. And what fluffing is, is, is just shaking out the roots. So I'm disturbing that curl clump so that it's not clumped that it's a little bit separated at the root and that's going to give me a more voluminous look on the top of my hair. So I really love to do this first thing in the morning and you can also use a pick to fluff out your hair. I love to do that too and then you can just scrunch out that gel cast if you prefer. I know sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It just depends what I'm doing that day and the look that I'm going for and the gel that I used. It, it just really depends if I need it or not. So you can decide that for yourself as well. But scrunching that gel cast is one way to just soften the curl. It'll still have that hold. It can cause a little bit of frizz. So make sure that your hands are dry when you do it, or you can use a silk pillowcase when you're scrunching or a silky scarf to put on your hands when you're scrunching so that you don't disturb your curls too much or you don't add any friction there. But this is a great way to just lift up those curls, kind of separate them a little bit to give you some more volume if you'd like. If you really want that definition, like my daughter loves that she wants her hair to be ultra defined because as it dries in the next few days, it'll already get more volume. So on wash day, she likes to keep that definition in. So it's really a matter of choice. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful and I hope your curls will last and last with this styling technique. Enjoy, have fun. You can still do all kinds of hairstyles with your curls. It's just fun to see them in a pattern that you're comfortable with, that your hair is actually doing something that you want it to do. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your curls and I'll see you next time.